Banlab has updated to Banlab 10 which has bought the sampler feature and has remastered the Banlab mastering site. In today's video, I'm just going to explore the sampler feature, tell you guys what I think about the update and then I'm going to show you guys the sampler's feature to its full potential. Shinik did not show the full potential. Three, two, one. So guys, this is basically the brand new... So guys, this is basically the brand new BandLab update. I will not lie, the screen is very, very bright. And that new logo, I don't Hello really there. know if I like it or not. It's gonna have to take me some time before I can really say that I, I love, love this, this logo. logo. But everything still looks cool. It does show how many plays I have, which is 17,000, which I think is an absolute banner, if you ask me. But the whole thing is quite bright. We're gonna get right into the sampler. Ideally, if you would, you'd probably use it like. Wait, hear me out, guys. Hear me out. Hear me out. I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, I did this before. Wait. Okay, we're gonna do this. Hey. So my name is Shinigi to the S to the East to the No. Wait, hold. Hey. Okay. Okay. Here's here's what we do. We have a few effects down here. We can use this pitch to make it higher and lower. Or less. Just... Sounds like a sneeze that one does. We have pan. I guess we could. So the the L is right in my right ear. I mean my left ear. Never mind. Not my right ear. You can change the volume, make it quieter, I guess. If you didn't want it to be too loud or anything. You can change the tone. And we can change the attack and release. We can also get it to loop. You press loop and then you just go here. And it will play forever. Not too good of a sound. If you play a gate, then you can just basically... But with the one shot, it just goes straight through. You just tap it once and it goes straight through. If I press record, but then, like. Oh, I can, cool. A, A. To the S to the E, they know about me to the, oh, I go for bed. This one, one, one. Now, if you want to make your own, you can basically import files or browse one shots, which is basically the ones that it's already in here. What's this one? Wait, let me just click off the uh, samples. A A. But let's say you want to put your own sound in there that isn't. I guess that they should probably. Wait, actually, that one's gonna be really long. Wait, hold on. I think this is just a voice. If you love him, you don't let him do this. If you love him, you don't, don't let him do, do this. this. I guess you can make it smaller or make it bigger than the, the thing that you want to hear. If you love him, you don't, don't let, let him, him do, do this. this. This is the thing that I got from uh, from Sample Loops. I think that's the website, really good website. That's where I get all my loops from. If you love him, you don't, don't let, let him do, do this. this. I guess that's one way to import it. You can download it from the internet using Loop Sample or a YouTube to MP3 converter which is basically the easiest one to do. Then you can just go to your file explorer, upload it to BandLab, Bob's your uncle, you're done. Then you can save it. And I'm hoping you can always check in. Yeah, I'm hoping that I should just be able to, so I should be, you see my kits, here it is. If you love him, you don't let him do 
just for this video i messed around and i had to follow the sampler i think it's actually like a really good feature and i plan of making a lot of memes bye guys Just call me